Welcome to 4438 Mayapple Court, Indianapolis, Indiana, 46203. This home is located in Franklin Township, uh, just uh, maybe a mile and a half, two miles east of the big commercial area off of Emerson Avenue, a little bit north of Thompson, I believe. We have a three bedroom, two bath house, about 1,226 square feet. It does have a two car attached garage, as we can see. Has a partially fenced in backyard, and this is a pet friendly house. Uh, this house was built in 1996, and we have this listed for $1,000 a month with a $1,000 deposit. Get a nice uh, big window into the kitchen in the front of the house little patio step and we'll go inside and take a look around so our nice foyer area we've got a nice uh, nice floor this green carpet is actually uh, throughout the entire house as we first come in off to the left is uh, our garage we'll go ahead and just kind of make our way around the house so this garage has our mechanicals now, this house is an all-electric house. I don't know if you can see in the video, but both the water heater and the furnace are electric, as well as the stove and any, any other appliance in the house. So we do have some hangers and racks, shelves. As you can see, we have a uh, automatic or uh, power door opener for the overhead door in the garage. And it's a standard size uh, two-car garage. I'd say it's about 20 by 20. We have shelves on this side as well. And we circle back around into our foyer and into our kitchen. Now this home does come with uh, a variety of appliances. As you can see straight ahead, we have our microwave and stove, refrigerator and freezer. We do have a garbage disposal and a, uh, a dishwasher plenty of cabinet space in this kitchen. I know it's always frustrating if you have a kitchen that doesn't have ample amount of cabinet space. We do have a little food pantry here. Take a look in here. So as you can see, a uh, good place for maybe some canned goods, spices, so on and so forth. So like I said, it does have uh, what I would consider to be ample cabinet space for a kitchen. Um, a little extra area here that would make for maybe a small dining area, a little breakfast area maybe. As we continue our way through the home, we've got our coat closet off to the left as we first come in. And we have a good size family room or living room. I also like the pass through from the kitchen, as you can see. But uh, so this family room. So it's all the way back to the sliding glass door here, kind of give you an idea of how large this room is. Now our fireplace is a wood-burning fireplace. We do have several ceiling fans throughout as well. And I love ceiling fans. I find them very, very uh, efficient as far as helping distribute the heat and the cool throughout the house, depending on the time of the year and the rotation of the fan blades. So from our living room we can uh, see our nice hallway here first door to our left is going to be our laundry room uh, this house does not have a washer and dryer included in the home uh, but we do have a washer and electric dryer hookup in a uh, laundry room right here I'll kind of give you a little sweep we've got our wire racks for storage And it's a small room. It's probably about six feet by six feet would be my guess. Now, we have our first bathroom, which would be our guest or common bathroom. Uh, right here down from the hallway. Nice sink. Commode area. Shower and tub with surround. Got our cabinet space here nice mirror 
and just a simple guest or uh, yeah, guest or common bathroom. Now, right around the corner from this bathroom is also our linen closet. Nice, sizable, spacious linen closet. And on to our first bedroom. Uh, now, this first bedroom is probably about 10 feet by 11 feet. We'll get a little bit of a look around here for you to give you an idea of the space here. It's not a bad size. Uh, then we have a uh, reach-in closet, double closet here. Our second bedroom is about the same size, but it actually has a sizable walk-in closet. So once again, this room is about 10 feet by 11 feet. We have one window in the room. Back up and kind of give you an idea of the size of this room here. And this is the walk-in closet I was telling you about. Let me get the light turned on here. So as you can see, there's a sizable space in our closet off of the second bedroom. Now we'll go check the master bedroom, master bath area. So this room is about 13 by 13. Once again, we have another ceiling fan in the house, or in the room. Uh, we have our walk-in closet off to the left wall. Let me turn the light on so we can see better. And a fair amount of space in our walk-in closet. I'll back up so you can see the size of this room. Okay. Now our master bedroom or bathroom, we've got uh, our shower and tub surround. We do have double sinks. I'm always a big fan of double sinks in our bathrooms. Nice big mirror. We do have our medicine cabinet. Now, even. Another cabinet above the toilet seat, a little organizer, and our toilet behind the door here. A couple other things I want to take a look at and point out before we finish this video is, uh, I don't think I mentioned the fireplace earlier. We do have a nice wood-burning fireplace. As I said, this is an all-electric house, so there's no gas in the home. But, so we've got a nice fireplace and mantle wood-burning fireplace. Well, also, lastly, we'll check out this backyard. Uh, this is a pet-friendly home, as I said. Now, it is not a, uh, it is not a, um, fenced-in, completely fenced-in backyard. Uh, but the neighbors have fences, so we've got fences on two sides of this home. We've got a black fence on the right side of the home. We've got a nice long privacy fence that goes across the backyard. Now, uh, the property line, as far as I can tell, actually extends to the end of this fire or this uh, privacy fence. So, we are uh, uh, we've got a really nice, sizable yard. It looks like it comes as an angle parallel to the uh, next door neighbors. Now, we do have central air, of course, and. We'll get back into the home here in a minute. Now, as I said before, this home is renting for a thousand dollars a month with a thousand dollar deposit. And if you have any questions, please feel free to call our leasing agent at 317 484 8444, and you can reach leasing at extension one. Take a look around the neighborhood real quickly so we can see it's a newer development 
most of the homes are uh, probably less than 20 years old in this area. A little housing addition on the near southeast side. Please check out our other videos and our current listings on our website at www.rpmindymetro.com. Thank you very much.